and welcome to episode 80 of the Aria Bark podcast. My name's Caroline and I'm coming to you today from my home in Fife in Scotland. If you're a new viewer, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. It's great to have you here. How is everyone? I hope you are all well. I am here with a headache. What I'm wearing. I am living in my summer sorrow by Woolen Pine. Absolutely love this top. May possibly make another one. I know I'm really sadistic. Absolutely love this. Despite the fact that it has been really, really warm. I know we stay in Scotland. Who knew? I have been living in this. Excuse Andrew and his yelping. It's a pain in the backside. Yeah, absolutely love this top. Now, this may possibly be a slightly longer episode than normal. I do have a lot of cast-ons. Um, we'd like to say a huge thank you to Tonya for hosting the cast-on party last weekend. It was lots and lots of fun. Um, it did take me quite a few days to recover. Didn't quite manage to go from a normal nap. Normally we have a pre-cast-on party for people in the UK. Um, this time it was my turn to host so I hosted that from 11 till it was supposed to be two but we were having too much fun plus I was struggling with a project and I was trying to get that done before my nap which didn't happen um did eventually try to go for a nap got woken up by patch jumping all over the top of me then got woken up by Aria hammering on bedroom door with her tail. Eventually dozed off again, only to be woken up by Andrew setting off the smoke detectors. All of them. Because they're linked. At that point it was like, I'm never going to get for a nap. And it was what, 25? 25, 5 o'clock, something like that. And I was like, I may as well just go on. And I stayed on all night. And it was off a good so massive, massive thank you to Tonya for hosting. Wonderful evening as always. And I did cast on. I, I know I said it was only casting on two. It went up to seven. However, however, only six have survived. You can find me on Ravelry as either Aria Bark or my personal account, which is Sultra. We have a Ravelry group, which is Aria Bark Podcast. We have an Instagram page, which is Aria Bark Designs. We have a Facebook page, which is Aria Bark Designs. And we have a Kofi page, which is Aria Bark Designs. We are running two make-alongs at the moment. The first one is the hashtag ABP Stash Mash 2023. It starts on the 1st of January, ends on the 31st of December and it's literally using anything from your stash. Big amounts, small amounts, don't mind. For that the crafts are knitting, spinning, weaving, crochet, anything fibre related. Um, knitting, like adding machines are permitted, knit machines are permitted, we don't care. The next make along is the ABP Star Flanket KAL. That started on the 1st of January and ends on the 31st of December. The only rule to that is you have to make a Star Flanket. We are six months in, there's still time to complete one. If you haven't already started, you can get one finished. Yeah, that's about it. I would like to say a huge congratulations to two lovely viewers who have entered and they have completed theirs. <laughs> Massive congratulations. Now I'm going to stick a picture in because these are stunning. The first one is the lovely Liz. How pretty is that? That is so, so pretty. 
Um, Liz has completed hers. Absolutely stunning. Well done, Liz. <laughs> the next person who has completed is the lovely Nikki. We'll stick a picture in. Again, that is so stunning. Love it. Again, congratulations, Nikki. There is still time to enter. Obviously, you can complete one if that's all you're working on. You can complete one in six months. Again, at this point, technically, you don't have to finish. As you can see, it is hard going. I'm not going to lie, it is definitely hard going. And at points you do need a fair bit of concentration depending on what you're doing. So, yeah. Enter. You don't necessarily have to finish. But there will be prizes. This week we have coming in, going out, stash mash and whips. In this week's podcast there is a lot of knitting, a wee bit of Tunisian crochet, yeah that's about it. And timestamps for each section can be found in the description box below. As I had mentioned last episode, I was waiting on yarn coming. And now, I purchased three skeins and a one, one skein. Just to clarify, everything here except the one that I won, which I'll tell you about when we get to it, was all purchased with my own money. So if you bear with me a second, because there's one that I'm going to have to get out. Yeah, I bought four. Bought four and won one. I'm sitting looking at the totals going, that's all right. So, the first one that I purchased, Mouse Witch Yarns, and that is pretty much true to colour. It is absolutely stunning. This is Year of Yarn for June. I'm going to apologise for the state of my nails. During the week, I was sitting out in the garden. I'm going to put a tangent alert in. Um, during the week, I was sitting out in the garden. Um, was it after Zoom? I think it was after Zoom. And so it was either going to be, th was it Thursday? No, because I think I bitched about it on Thursday. So it was either, I think it was Tuesday, we were out in the garden. And our window cleaner came. And as I was trying to move, I normally, if the dogs are out, I put a storage box across the path to stop them from being able to disappear. And Patch will now pair the fence to my, my next door neighbour's house because he's obsessed with the pensioner. So I had that out. I had my feet. To be honest, I don't even think the dogs were out at this point. I think I was actually using it to put my feet on. And the window cleaner came. I went to move the box and I bought, broke two nails. Back to yarn. Stunning. Gorgeous. I need to get this wound up because this is the June colourway. So I need to get that done. The next one. I will leave links to Mandy's coffee shop down below. Again, Mouse Witch Yarns. This one is called Strawberries and Cream. It is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Loved that one. The next one. Is that that bright? That pinky colour is near as neon looking. It's what it's shown here, but it is still that stunning. This is Festival. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Again, my switch yarns. These are all 75% superwash merino. Put it that way. 25% nylon, you get 400 metres in 100 grams. They are gorgeous. I have absolutely no idea what any of this is going to be. Possibly socks. Um, possibly Stephen West. I'm 
because I'm still looking for yarn for my slip extravaganza. So I might use that for that one. That will go. The next one. This episode is called Secret Projects and Creative Accomplice. The Gorgeous Mandy did help a lot with this. And I think Denise helped as well. I was wanting to make a project for Ryan. And it was to tie in with a prompt for... Well, I got my prompts all mixed up for Denise's Year of the Sock. I got my months switched round. This month is Steven Spielberg. However, I thought it was Marvel, and DM, Marvel or DMC. So, tangent again. So I'd found a pattern and it was suggested to do it in red and blue. So the lovely Mandy dyed me up this. How pretty is that? Now this is called Spider Ryan. Everyone knows Ryan is obsessed with spiders loves them. We'd been speaking a couple of weeks ago about how Ryan was going to be a granddad because one of his spider babies, she's called Sam, I will not stick a picture in because I am not taking pictures of weird spiders in my back garden. No, because she's just had babies this year. So Ryan has been intently watching Sam's babies. Um, Where she has the web is where our garden shed is and one of the old clothes poles. That was the running joke. So Mandy very kindly dyed me up this for Ryan and as you can see it's not attached to anything. And so was that everything? Um, June Strawberries Festival Ryan and I'll stick that back in there for when I come to it um, so purchased 1600 metres from Mandy I'm trying to be good with the overbuying of yarn so Denise had an update and I may have partaken as I said it was going I got my door hanger, which I did use for when Ryan was, when I was knitting on the secret project for Ryan. I would hang that up. The next thing I purchased is this. It's the year of the sock. Um, we managed. <laughs> The Zoom ladies and I manage to talk Denise into making these every year for a year of the sock. And then once they're done, I'm going to stick a magnet in the back here or a wee glue dot. And I'm just going to have a collection of all of them. So that is my year of the sock for all my pictures. And... Waist hats. It's got net stitches on the back. How pretty are they? So nice. So a huge thank you to Denise for my lovely wooden good. Oh, I forgot. The best thing ever. It's a ball holder. Do I have a cake? Yes, I do. I'll stick this on. So. With these, take your handle off, you stick, obviously I'm not wanting to unhook that, obviously you wouldn't have this bit on. So put it on and then you can pull and as you're pulling this spins. It's got a wee deer ring that you can stick stitch markers on to. 
what I've been doing with it is when I'm out in the garden, I'll unhook the iPad and I'll dangle it for the pole that holds the iPad and I just sit and knit from it. Um, if I'm in the bedroom, I'll use one of the nylon cords that hold the warping rail on. I'll just hook it on that and it just sits like above my head and I just knit straight from it. Absolutely perfect. Um, I have said to Denise that I need to get some more. Um, that's that. She does have different designs. Um, I think these are pre-orders. Um, there may occasionally be one or two sitting. I've got the sheep. Um, she has all different designs. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, is there anything else? Oh yes, I've got one more thing from here. Oh, was it last month or last month? I can't remember. At some point in the last few weeks, I won the Patreon yarn from Denise. Um, at the time, she was waiting on yarn come in. It's been really hot. Let's be honest. Nobody needs to be dying yarn when it's this, hot, this warm. However, she did send me this. How gorgeous is that? Oh, they could be a slip shavaganza. Yeah. These two could go into a slip shavaganza. Could look really pretty. So, thank you very much, Denise. I absolutely adore that. It's stunning. Or oh, I could just make socks. And it would look lovely. This is called, I hope it was the right way, Round Blue Streak. Again, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. You get 400 metres and 100 grams. It is seriously, seriously pretty. So, huge thank you to Mandy for the purchases and a huge thank you to Denise. I am going to shift these out the road of the puppy because he likes chewing on stuff. So I'm going to leave them there. Is that everything? So that's all I purchased. I have been fairly good, kind of. Only brought in 500 grams and 100 grams of that I didn't even pay for. So yeah, that has been my purchases. We brought anything else on? No, I don't think so. I think Andrew had asked Mandy for a colour race, so I need to speak to Mandy about that. I'm wanting the same one. So, yeah. Next episode, there may or may not be purchases, but a small amount of purchases. As you can see, the star blanket is finished. I did the brioche. I'm going to have to try and move this. This was where I was the last time you saw it. There was a whole thing. Um, I'd got to about here. Right about here. And I decided, do you know what? Actually, before I get into this story, I really should remember to tell you what it is that the name of the par. So this is the Star Flanket by Stephen West. It's not really that great. So this is the Do you know what? I'm going to stick a picture in because this weighs a ton and I have a sore hand so I'm going to stick a picture in. This is a Star Flanket by Stephen West. It is a paid for pattern on Ravelry or on the West Knits website. It's six euros or about five pounds fifty five ish. Now, as you can see, it's done. I got to roughly about halfway up 
and decided this would be so much easier if it was on two needles. I could work on one half, put my needle stoppers on, go to the other needle, work the other half, everything would be fantastic. So, so I didn't forget to put the needle stopper on. Before I'd even put it on the cable, I put the needle stops on, started threading it through, went to pull it along and noticed that the cable was freely moving and the other needle was sitting on the bed. I'd only put one needle on the cable and I literally dropped stitches and I was like... <laughs> so I did manage to fix it. I have absolutely no idea whatsoever where the mistake was. Um, to be honest, I don't really care if you can see it because this brioche nearly killed me. So, it is done. Now, this is all done using Stylecraft Special DK. We have 1001, which is white. I use 243.95 grams or 717.21 metres. Then we've got the black, which literally shows up every bit of fluff and dog hair imaginable. In real life, that does not look that manky. However, there's stuff over it. Um, this is 1002, which is black. I use 202.34 grams or 594.88 metres. The next one is the grey. This is shade number 1063, which is graphite. I use 206.12 grams or 605.99 metres. The last colour is this one, which is 1010, which is matador. I used 158.09 grams or 464.78 meters. In total I used 810.5 grams or 2,382.86 meters. I blocked this really aggressively and it's a fair, it's not massive, it's not the biggest Stephen West blanket that I've done. However, it will quite comfortably sit over my legs and yeah love it this part here where you pick up the stitches colossal pain in the back side love this colossal pain in the back side and there's one of my points where it's went a bit on the wonk And I don't know why. Because I had the proper stitch count. But when I came to doing these bits, there it's there. As you'll see, it's that bit there. And then it goes on the complete wonk. Don't know why. However, I was not ripping it out and redoing it. Because by that point I'd lost the belt of love. The lovely Nancy, who is Kitty Scrapper on YouTube, very kindly talked me into doing a two colour eye cord bind off, and I love it. Her suggestion was because you've got the black and white of the parallelograms, then you've got the black and white of the brioche, to finish it off, do the black and white. Love. It. absolutely love it I really do love this now these are all 100% acrylic you get 295 meters and 100 grams and I used a 4 millimeter drops classic needle so it is done um, I've still to go in and fix these parts and trim all my ends for the most part, this has all been woven in. So I just need to go back, 
fix the center, fix my center and knot it in, and then trim everything else. There's something not right there. I think this is roughly where it went a bit peaked on. It's where I dropped the stitches. You can't really see it for that end, you can definitely see it on this end. I literally dropped that amount of stitches. So yeah, it is done. I am happy. There's a few mistakes in the brioche, no enough for me to care. Yeah. Um, is there anything else? No, I don't think so. So that is that one. I'm however going to move it from my back because my back's on fire. The next project you have not seen. Um, it was one that I cast on on the cast on party. This is the make sure I'm making sure I'm showing you the right end because the last time I showed a dish cloth I had it the wrong way around. This is the energy bar dish cloth by the kitchen sink shop. It is a free pattern if you sign up to their newsletter um for the year dish cloths. I signed up ages ago it's still needing blocked but it is done and um, this only took me a couple of days really enjoyable knit this is going to go into my pile of dish cloths um still needing to be washed and blocked um do i have i never brought it through with me this is using the hobie rainbow 8 slash 8 which is dk in shade 75 it is a hundred percent cotton you get 75 meters and 50 grams i have a huge chunk of this left now this only took 20.95 grams so well under half and it was 31.43 meters so another dishcloth done this can sit there um, I used a 3.25mm needle, yeah, so that will block out quite nicely once I've finished taking pictures. So yeah, that is that. So that was my first FO of the cast on party. As mentioned earlier, for Father's Day I decided to make Ryan a pair of socks. Now, I could have technically bought him something, but seeing as the man has everything that he needs, I decided I was going to make socks. Sally, I apologise, they're on my fake feet. It could be worse, they could be made of polystyrene. They're made of plastic. So, I have finished Ryan's socks. These are the Ampulate by Kelly Menzies, who is Roro and Cades. Can you see? So spikes. Now, the rule was, when Ryan was coming home, Ryan had to message me to let me know he was coming home. That worked twice. Quite a few times, I literally had to ram it in. At one point, I took it back out after he surprised me with a visit home. To find that half my stitches had fallen off. As mentioned, this is the Spider Ryan yarn from Mouse Witch Yarns. Now, I'm going to clarify something. And it's only because Mandy and I have discussed it. There are a few points on here, I think it's this one, that shows it more. Where it looks like it's pulling in certain places. Obviously the heel doesn't count because the stitch count changes at that point. But in one of the socks... Is it underneath? See this stripe here? It was this one. No nearly as bright as what that's shown. 
Where was the other place? Yeah, round here. No nearly as bright. Same with this bit here. Mandy was a bit disappointed that it never worked the way she wanted it to. Because the whole point was to have it to, to micro stripe. For the most part, it has micro striped. I think there's just a couple of wee spaces where my gauge changed. Well, it's not, but absolutely loved the yarn. The colourway was exactly what I asked Mandy for, which was blue and red with little bits of black speckles. I don't think you can see the black speckles on that side. I'll see if I can get it because you can, there's a, as some point like there, you've got black speckles going through it. Love it! Absolutely stunning. So a massive, massive thank you to Mandy for her hard work. Ryan loves it. He loved the fact that he's got his very own colourway, which he loves. He'd come home on Friday and at that point I was literally finishing the toe. I was a little bit concerned that he wasn't going to like them. That leg isn't nearly as long, long enough for him. Um, I did have to do a wee bit of jiggery pokery on the charts. The spiders do not finish at the same point. They finish at different places. Because by the time I came to do the second sock, I had forgotten, I think I'd started the spiders the minute, started the chart for the foot the minute I'd started the heel. However, on this one, I didn't start it until I was starting to do the decreases. Yeah. To be honest, I doubt very much if you'll notice. That is straight, it's just a, on a bit of a wonk. Um, it's not been blocked, so I'll need to do that. However, he has tried them on, he does like them. Albeit the leg is his preferred length, he still loves it because it's spiders. So, I have said to him I will make him another pair in different yarn and I'll give him his longer leg. It just means you do, in the pattern, I should say, the pattern is £5. It is a paid for pattern on Ravelry or on the Roro and Cades website. Um, you do get a blank chart where you can put in how long you want them. Um, if I was going to make it again, I think I would possibly do it on a stitch fiddle. I would work it out on that one because I think you only get about 60, 66 rows for the chart. Now... Ryan's legs are normally anywhere between 80 and 100 rounds for his leg. So I would have to make the chart bigger. So that's the plan. Absolutely love them. Again, huge thank you to Mandy for her wonderful creative talents. I love the yarn. It was great to work with. Ryan loves it because he's now got a colour B with his name on it. And there's done in. Can highly recommend. These are not as difficult as they look and it is. The fact that you're purling every round, apparently I'm become obsessed with reverse stockinette. The only things I have changed, I think at some point you do something with the toe. I didn't do the same thing with the toe and I also put in the integrated heel by Albina McLaughlin. Ryan likes that heel. It fits him really well. So, yeah. I just put that on. 
he's enough. Um, in the part and it's a heel flapping gusset. So yeah. Um, I used sixty one point nine seven grams or two hundred and forty seven point eight eight meters. This is what I've got left. Um, this is enough to stick in all my scrappy projects. Um, starting with my CTC Battenberg. Love it. I will leave all the patterns linked down below. I will also leave a link to both Denise's and Mandy's coffee shops if you want to go and partake in their goodies. Highly recommend. So that's that one. This bag is just foo. Yarn. Mandy's. 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 Bits of yarn all over the place. Mandy's. I've got a bag full of Mandy's yarn. And I think it's time this bag got emptied. So, that is... Is that all the FOs? Yes. Uh, apologies. Um... Ryan's dad's somebody at the home keeps mucking about Ryan's dad's Netflix account and had to go in and jiggery poke on his account. So, where was that? So, that is all my finished ob objects for this podcast. In total, I have crafted 893.42 grams or 2,662.17 meters. Great start of the first half of the year. I am exceptionally happy. As you're aware, my goal is to craft 25,000 metres from my stash. So far this year, I have crafted 9,470.83 metres. This week's total of 2,662.17 metres has brought my total up to 12,133 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, metres. Still a bit under, but again, not that fast. Previous income in was 29,231 metres. Brought in an extra 2,000 metres. Only 1,600 of that did I pay for. Which brings my total to 31,231 metres. Horrendous, I know. But it'll all get used eventually. So, to target, I have 12,867 meters to go I am pretty much just under halfway there again I have a lot of projects on my needles I'm no overly concerned apologies for the puppy no overly concerned I have managed to craft a huge amount so far this year and there's a lot of projects that have multiple skeins of yarn that are going to be used. So far this year I have crocheted 1,331.86 metres. I have knit 10,804.14 metres. haven't finished any spinning and I haven't finished any weaving. Um, as you're aware, I'm taking part in the Ravelry Project Challenge. My challenge is to craft 30 projects in 2023. I have completed 20. Which is 67%. Really, really happy with the amount of projects that I'm churning out. I am still two, possibly three pairs of socks down on Denise's year socks. Um, thanks to the last pair of socks haven't got to Andrew. Albeit I have submitted socks nearly every month. Not all of them. 
tie in with the prompt. Um, Mandy's year of yarn, I think I've got two, possibly three colourways that still need to be made into socks, but they'll probably end up being just vanilla socks. So yeah. I am not overly concerned at the moment. I have more than 10 whips on the go. Obviously, because of the cast on party, I did cast on seven. So, yeah, I am quite happy. They'll get done, eventually. My first whip um, is one of the projects that I cast on last weekend. I have not done a huge amount to this. This is the Forage Shawl by Helen Stewart. It is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. It is either £6 or it comes as part of the Knit Vent 2022, which is £18. I bought Knit Vent last year. I got this as part of it. This is how much I've done. I have done the first colour, I'm into the second. I think there's still a bit left to go. So I am going to stick a marker in to mark where I am. So this is how much I've got done. Um, I am using some of the yarn that I got in the advent from Nancy. Um, this was colour A. These colours get repeated once more. So, so I've done the first colour A, A. So I've still got another one to go. I am now on B. I have absolutely no idea how much more of that I have to get, have to get done. But again, no overly concerned. Um, I am using a 3.75mm Knit Pro Mindful Needle. And I'm using a swivel cord, which I love. Um, I'm using a 40 inch cord. Because I know it will get bigger. So yeah, I am hoping to get more work put on this this week and we'll see how far I get. Um, I've still got another five colours to go. So that is the first one. My next one, I've left it in because I did cast it on. Um, I came to the sudden realisation on Friday. Yeah, I think it was on Friday during Zoom, I have zero inclination to carry on with this project. It sounded great. I did want it, hence why I cast it on. However, I was sick of picturing because I don't have how much I've done sitting. Trying to get these to sit together is a nightmare. Sewing them together was just a colossal pain in the backside. Um, they were an unenjoyable knit. I did two, and obviously the three. I think I've done three sample ones. They were enjoyable to knit. I just have zero intentions of putting all these tiny bee hexy puffs together. So that has now been frogged. They were the beekeeper's quilt by Tiny Owl Knits. It is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. It is either $5.50 or £4.65-ish. Rather than making an entire quilt, my, I had decided to make four cushions. Um, I didn't even get past four or five of them and I was like, I have way too much other knitting that I could be getting on with. I wouldn't even say they were fiddly because actually making them up were, it was really, really enjoyable. However, the sewing them together was a colossal pain in the backside. Um, the lovely Mandy did mention, did suggest to try and pick the stitches up and just knit straight onto it. 
but by that point I was like so done with them it was like I do not want this project that much to go to that amount of effort when I have like five billion other whips that I could be working on and getting finished apologies so that has been scrapped my next whip I have zero idea what bag it's in. I think it might be this one. Yes, it is. I have a week and a half to get both these socks finished. I will stick a picture in because all I've done is this. I'll stick a picture in. These are the shark socks by Fiona Gobel. Um, it was taken from the Knitted Animal Socks and Hats book, which I have on my Kindle. Some sort of book reading app thing. Um, modifications, I have done none. Um, this is the second time of me casting this on. The first time I've done it in acrylic iron. Um, these are going to be slipper socks for during the winter. So, I'd cast it on using acrylic and the pattern tells you to, you've got the smaller size and you've got the larger size. The larger size is supposed to be for an adult. Clearly I have tiny, tiny feet because when I'd done it, I literally could have both my feet in one and Ryan's foot as well. It was massive. So, what I've done is I have used a four ply. This is drops flora. I've said Lima. I don't know why. Um, drops flora. Now this is sixty five percent wool, thirty five percent alpaca. I am allergic to alpaca. I don't know how these are going to work on my feet. I'm not going to put that anywhere near my face. I don't want my face burning. So. I don't know how these are going to work. However, I have tried them on. They're still a teeny tiny bit too big, despite the fact that I've got gauge. So, the plan is going to be, I'm going to carry on with them. Um, I may need to buy trainer socks, cotton trainer socks, to wear so that the alpaca is not actually touching my feet. Obviously, I do wear a lot of leggings. This will come up my legs, so I don't have to worry about that. So, yeah. That's how much I've got done. I've only only started this the other day um, while I was waiting for Andrew and the dentist. And I've managed to get this done. So, I'm going to use my Juju Knits stitch marker. Oh, botherations. Yeah, I'm going to put this stitch marker back because that was actually marking something fairly important. And what I'll do is I'll stick another stitch marker in to mark where it was. So that's this. I'm hoping this is a fairly simple knit right now because all I have to do is to do X amount of rows for the leg. Um, I'm going to do the, that amount of rows and then I'm going to see where it sits on my leg before I do the heel and I might do a bit more. Um, I do have another two balls of this. I have other ones in my stash, so I'm not overly concerned. This is shade, I should say that, number four, which is the grey. Um, I've got a wee bit of white to use in it. And I also need to find teeny, teeny, tiny buttons. I need two teeny, tiny black buttons. Because I'm just going to use buttons for the eyes as opposed to safety eyes because I'm not wanting it digging into my leg. So that is that it's an enjoyable knit. Pretty simple. Is there anything else? 
am using a 3.75 because I've actually gone down a needle size. Um, I'm using a 3.75 higher, higher sharp. So I'll just keep working on it. And I've went from iron down to uh, like a DK-ish weight. So we'll see. We will see. Hopefully these will fit better than the last pair. Um, the Sharp Socks, it does say on the Ravelry page that there is, it is available for free. I did try the link earlier on. It didn't work. Um, but that's more to do with my security settings. It wouldn't let me go to it. However, you can get the pattern from the Knitted Animal Socks and Hats book. Um, I'll leave a link down below to the book on like Amazon or I'll check see if you actually get it on the Kindle. So yeah. That is that project. My next project. Um, I did have to rip this out last night and redo it because I'd done a stitch count and I'd lost a stitch. So, this is my Nightfall Show by AK Laurie Designs. It is is $6.50 on Laurie's pay hip. I will leave the details down below. I did not pay for this pattern. I'm just going to put it straight out there. I did not pay for this pattern. I tested this pattern. Um, I think I'd hurt myself and I had to stop. But I did finish one earlier on. I did say at the time I'm going to make another one in far more enjoyable yarn. I started this, it would have been about 10 o'clock. Um, we were watching, what were we watching? We were binge watching Homeland. And Chinese and Crochet, you cannot watch TV and do it, especially know this because I had to count. So it was in between exciting bits. I managed to get this done. This marker is marking the start of my next V section and the yarn. So the first one is this one. This is Mr. Rocket, which reminds me to message Mandy. This is a 75%, both of these are 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. You get 400 metres and 100 grams. This is Mr. Rocket. And the next one is Poppy the Poppins. And it's cute. So, these are the two that I'm striping. And this is how... It is coming out. It is absolutely stunning. Now move it a wee bit closer so you can see. How pretty is that? Absolutely love it. Really enjoyable make. Far more enjoyable than the last one thanks to the yarn. Pattern I knew I loved the pattern, which is why I'm making another one. However, with this, it's so much more enjoyable. So I'm going to continue to work on this. I need to put another stitch marker in. What will I use? I've got a flump. I'm going to use some apple juice. Actually, I think I might swap out. I think I'll put the apple juice in to mark that one. And then I'll stick this one in to mark where it was. Yeah, so that 
is that. I'm going to keep working away on it. Um, now that I've managed to fix, fix my stitch count, it's going to be far easier to get it done. I am using a 5mm, I think it's 5mm, it's either a 5 or a 5.5mm Knit Pro Symphony Tunisian hook. Um, the cord at the moment is a wee bit long, but once I get another couple of repeats in, it'll be fine. Let's stick them back in there. Is there anything else I need to tell you about that? No, I'll, again, I'll leave links to Lori's shop. I've got a skinny arm sitting here. One, two. I thought I had four skein. I had four balls of that sitting. Yep. So, I'll leave links to Lori's pay hip. Um, no, brain freeze. Um, I'll leave links to Lori's pay hip down below. Next. Nearly there folks. The next pattern is, I'll stick a picture in, this is Calibrate by Alex Doc. I'll need to check that pronunciation. It is a lovely sweater. It is the most expensive sweater that I've bought. I will be completely honest. This is a P4 pattern on Ravelry. It is 200 Norwegian krone or £15.61. Not going to lie. I genuinely don't normally pay £15 for a jumper pattern. However, I have. Um, again, cast this on at the cast on party. I should have followed... Tonya's advice and pre-started this. As I mentioned earlier, I've been suffering with a lot of headaches and I did have a slight headache on Saturday when I cast this on. So I was like, cast the stitches on, went to the next row and I was like, I don't get this. Well, first of all, I cast it on, then put it in the round and then started to knit and I was like, this isn't working. Ripped it back out, done it again. And I was like, I genuinely do not know what I'm doing. I have no idea. So I would like to thank the lovely Mandy who clarified the instructions. So this is how much I have done. How nice is that yarn? I'm obsessed. I've, I've got... A, ton of this stuff. I just remembered a conversation that Nancy and I had about how much exactly is a butt ton load. You see. I thought it was just blue flakes but there is bits of mint green flakes in it. So yeah. This is it. This is it so far. I have done so much. Um, we won't be casting off right now because I'll get done for indecent exposure. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep working on it. Um, I have managed to finish the first set of instructions. So I'm about to go on to the next lot. So this is how much I've got done. I do have my safety donuts in. Easy knit. Um, the first part of the pattern is you knit flat and then you will eventually increase out until you get to join it in the round and then it's just straight knitting from there on in. Calibrate is not like your normal knitting pattern where you'll be given sizes. Everything's done to your actual measurements. They get you to check your upper bust, your bust and your lower bust. I can't remember. I done this last week. Um, I know you do your hips, your bust, your wrists, and there was something. There's another measure measurement as well that you have to do. In the pattern, it comes with a link to a calculator, and it will then tell you exactly what parts of the pattern. It's a bit like plug and play. 
get a sheet where you put your measurements into and then there's a link on I can't remember what page it is there's a link on one of the pages where you put your upper bust, your full bust, your waist and I think your wrist is the other one. That's what the website looks like when you bring it up and then you put, it'll tell you the bits that you're needing to do. It'll then give you, so here on the website it'll give you bits and then in the pattern you just put the bits into your pattern and then you can knit it up. I don't mind showing that because you don't know what increase C is, you don't know what increase C is. Without buying the pattern, you're not going to know what any of these are. I'm enjoying that pattern. I am using... I'm just using an acrylic. Um, if I enjoy it, if I keep enjoying it as much as what I have been, I think what I'll do is I might dye up some DK and use that. This is Poundstretcher's My Baby Speckle. It's a DK. You get 250 grams and a ball. which to tell you how many metres it is. It'll be normal DK-ish weight. And I said I was using a 4mm needle. So I'm just going to keep working away on that one. Last cast on. This was cast on on a previous cast on party. And I ripped it out because I had a bit of a moment and didn't read the instructions properly. So, this is the pattern 213-22, which is the Lavender Charm Top by Drops Design. I cast this on last year, made a complete pig's ear of the neck. It wouldn't line up right. I ripped it out and I was like, I'm done. I'm not casting it on now. I had far too much other stuff to knit. So, I have recast it on. And this is what it's looking like. I am getting on far better this time than what I did the last time. Um, I'm making absolutely no modifications whatsoever. The Lavender Charm Top is a free pattern on Ravelry or on the Drops website. I will leave them linked down below. I am using... Drops Muscat, which is this one, in shade, where's the shade gone? This is shade 04, which is lilac. It is 100% cotton, you get 100 metres and 50 grams. And the pattern asks you, asks, asks for a 3mm and a 4mm needle. Um, I am currently using the 4mm Knit Pro Mindful needle and I think it's a 40 inch cord. I think you start that at the back. So... This is what it's looking like at the moment. Now obviously that will possibly come out once I get a bit more work on it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And I have safety penguins. Um, this is how much I've got left of a 50 gram ball. So I've nearly put my first 50 grams into it. Maybe we go. So that's that being put in. I'm just going to keep working away on it. And with any luck, I should be able to get a fair amount of work put on it. Now that the secret projects have the secret project has been finished. Um, anything else? I don't think so. So that was all the projects that cast on. Um, the only other thing that I have been working on is my and my Stephen West bag. Just have to find where the front is. 
This is the Islet Burst Shawl by Stephen West. It is a paid for partner on Ravelry. It is six euros or five pounds fifty five ish. You can purchase a pattern from Ravelry. Got a look, I've been driving through hedge backwards. You can purchase a pattern on Ravelry or on the Westnet's website. This was where I was the last time I had just had I just started. Yeah, I was coming close to I actually think I was. Um, I have finished striping in colour B, colour B and colour C, and I am now working on C. So, this is how much I've got left to colour A, this is what's left to colour B. So, this is Mouse Witch Yarns Rainy Day. This one is Mouse Witch Yarns April Showers. I am currently working on After the Rain, which is this one. And then that just leaves me this one to put in, which is Sunshine. It is that bright and it is going to be awesome. I am using a 3.5mm Drops Classic Needle on 100cm cord. And this is for the Mouse Witch Yarns Stephen West Marathon. This is one of the projects that I'm making. That is that one. Again, this is a really easy net. It's just got to search with some eyelets. So I will shifty shifty this up. So shift this up here. And again, I'm just going to keep working on this as well until it's done again i'll leave links to it down below and with any luck by the next podcast it will i'll be on color four i was going to be adventurous and say i'll be finished but i won't let's be honest so yeah that is all i have been working on plan going forward i am desperately trying to get my whips down um, I will not be casting on any more projects until I get at least the uh, the six. I need to finish at least six projects before I cast on anything else. I don't care what six projects it is, as long as it's six. I need to get six projects off my needles. The only thing this doesn't include is socks because I need to catch up on the year yarn socks I don't have any sock projects lined up at the moment I've got the spring gentleness and that I need to finish and the cream egg socks and to get them finished so my plan is going to be to get those two done um it's more likely going to be the spring gentleness socks to be honest we would love if you are watching this and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, helps grow the channel, which we're trying to do. And if we can start getting more subscribers, Andrew may possibly come back. Hey, Andrew. I'm telling people that if we get more subscribers, you'll come back. What? If you work on which projects, I'll come back. If you come back, I work on list projects. See, here's the thing though. You're a notorious over project person, therefore, you're going to have to show the commitment of doing less projects before I. So, how. Hello. So. Where's the camera? Camera's there. Right. So. Mister, if you cut down how many projects you've got on a podcast, I'll come back. How many projects will I have to have for you to come back? Enough for it so it's not a two-hour podcast. It's not a two-hour podcast. Yeah. <laughs> You're hanging off the screen. I can't help it. They're, aye, they're lined up. 
they're not getting worked on. They're pro mm-hmm. projects that I want to work on. Mm-hmm. And they're, that's blankets. Mm-hmm. That's a blanket. Mm-hmm. I'm not working on every single one of them. Mm-hmm. See, but... I'm not working on every single one of them. You need to commit to projects. I'm committed to each and every one of the 50-odd projects that I've got. Are you working on them? How many of them have you actually worked on? Um, this week? Oh, sure. This week, how many have I worked on? Or this episode? Because that's about three weeks. This week, or... Right, and that's the issue we've got. You've no. gone three weeks in building up projects. It's only been three weeks because, obviously, last week I had, like, all the headaches. Consistency. That's Consistency. You... Consistency is what YouTube likes. Right, so you're going to come on every single week. Maybe. See, I need part commitment. Time. I need commitment for you that you're going to be on. I'm a part-timer. Are you going to be knitting? Probably not. Are you going to finish that cable you started? No, because I don't have any projects started. I've got your cable through in the bedroom. Exactly, so it's not in my possession. You also stole my needles off it. No, your needles are still on it. No, oh, you stole them. Because you never told me what you were needing, wanting me to do with it. I'll even let you borrow my stash. You see, you've, you, you've tried that, but the issue you do that is so you can then buy more in. I don't need to buy more on Andrew. Look at the table. I'm just saying. Part time. And your part time is what? Once a year? No, maybe... Twice a month. I'm joking. Twice do... a month? Well, you only do an episode every week. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I'm fortnightly. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, I'm supposed to be fortnightly. But it's been like every three weeks. Then so if I do it two times a month, I'll be making my own one. <laughs> um, so you gotta come back. Maybe we'll see. Sure, why not? I'll come back for a few. Come back. A few. Are you just gonna come back and whinge at my nothing? Probably that. So that's what the people want me to sit there and just go. No. I don't know. No, I, no, look, I, more I, projects. No, I have made a commitment. I am not casting anything else on <clears throat> until... It's... You are so mean. So mean. You said that before and then went to cast on parties. No, I never said I wasn't casting anything on at the cast on party. Thank you very much. No, but what you I said, said that was, before. I was going to cast on two projects and unfortunately they multiplied to six. But it was seven, but I got rid of one. Yes, but you go, right, no more projects, I'll focus on these. And then somebody will hold a cast on party and you're like, well, I've got a cast on. Like, I can't just Ton- sit there Tonya is the only one that holds cast on parties. That's Tonya's thing. Wow. That, that's because she's been spending too much time with you. You've infected her. Because you know, Auntie Tonya and Auntie Mandy and Auntie Heather miss you. They just miss the sass. They do miss the sass, yes, that's they do. They miss the sass. You did say sass there, you know, something else. <laughs> no, I said sass. <laughs> They're missing your sass. I'll come back. Not fully, but part timely. Part timely? Part timely. That isn't even a word. Part timely. It is, because I said it, therefore it's a word. Right, so you're going to come back. Are you showing everybody your nice new teeth that you got fixed? I already did. Nice I new can teeth. smile now. Well, <laughs> I'm like that, that's creepy. <laughs> that's why I'm talking weird. Yeah, sure, you're not talking that weird. You might want to take the soda cream off your bottom lap. There's no soda cream on my bottom lap. Yeah, so you're all right. I just made it worse. Oh, maybe not use that finger. Get a bit of blur across the skin. Yes, you can go. Are you saying bye to the peoples? Goodbye, peoples. See you in the next four weeks when she decides to do another podcast. <laughs> next week. Like and subscribe! 
Um, Zooms continue to be on a Wednesday at 8pm British Summer Time and 11am on a Friday. I genuinely look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards, people. So, I am going to go, I am going to get pictures taken, I am going to get this edited and uploaded and hopefully it should go up either tonight or tomorrow. So, I hope you have a crafty few weeks and I will see you back here again next week.